Hi everyone, this is Gleeza made with Glee. In today's video, I'm going to share something that's completely new to me. Needle felting. I bought this particular starter kit from Amazon. Um, right around the Christmas holidays, it was one of those lightning deals and it was under 20 bucks. I will definitely be leaving um, a link in the description box below for this particular um, kit, but it includes several colors of the wool, all sorts of the tools that you're going to need, basically everything that you're going to need to start needle felting. But I don't know how to needle felt. I, like I said, this is I've never tried this. This is my first time. And so as I'm unboxing this particular kit, I also wanted to let you know that I decided that, you know, for my very first project, I'm going to follow something that had a tutorial. So that way I know, you know, get some tips and hints and tricks and what exactly to do. Now back to this kit, like I said, it comes with everything you could possibly need to needle felt for the first time. This is a great kit for someone starting, such as myself. Um, this is, it comes with a, a booklet that tells you everything that's in the particular kit. There's many needles. There's three different sizes of needles, which I didn't figure out for a little while, but there's actually three sides of sizes of needles and all of the, you know, everything, like I said, everything that you need. There's little eyes, all of that stuff in there. Now, like I said, I decided to go with a to something that had a tutorial for my very first one. And I've been watching living felt videos on YouTube awesome lady group of ladies fairies they um every wednesday they do a live where they show you how to create one of these um some sort of creature or something now i saw them do i think it was the waffa bird kit that waffa bird that was the first one i saw and um i was intrigued and so i decided let me look on their website and i found this uh storybook bunny being a beginner kit so i ordered it from them it was about ten dollars and came very quickly with everything that you need to create the storybook bunny plus some extras. There was like a little sample pack of extra wools so you can try out. And I am basically going to be, I was watching the tutorial and making my bunny as I go along. Now here I probably, I believe I used the wrong needles. <laughs> Um, but like I said, this is my very first time doing this, so I kind of got you figured out like what needles punch a little bit harder um, as I went along. So I was able to kind of figure it out on my own as I played with this, but um, it was definitely fun. I like stabbing things thousands of times, yes, totally love doing that. Now I'm going to advise you, I'm here doing this without the finger protection on and I am happy to say I did not stick my finger, not once during this process, but I would definitely recommend wearing the little finger protections, especially when you're doing small objects, just in case you get distracted or something slip. You don't want to poke yourself with a bunch of needles or, a, or even one needle. So these are the, the little finger things that came in my kit, my original kit, and they work great. I, I'm just not accustomed to using <laughs> these little finger gloves. I'm a very tactile person. I like to feel and hold things in my hands myself and I found it to be a little bit cumbersome but definitely I can get used to it if I keep doing this. Now um, as I follow the, tu the tutorial basically you start off um, unrolling. They tell you exactly what to do. You unroll your white um, what is it called core wool uh, to create the body and then we're going to cover it with all the different pieces of the felt stuff. Now I think my shape here was perhaps a little bit too big but like I said this is my absolute absolute first time doing any sort of needle felting so it was you know it's something I think as I do it more I'll get a better hang of it of how to shape and how tight I should be doing these things and um, I'll definitely get better as I practice more but for the very first one I found this to be a lot of fun like I said I really do enjoy stabbing things 
thousands of times. I'm a cross stitcher. I love to cross stitch, which requires me stabbing a piece of fabric thousands and thousands of times to create, uh, you know, stitch designs. And this is kind of like the same, but you're just stabbing away, having fun without thinking where exactly you're stabbing. You're just going to keep stabbing and stabbing and stabbing. So um, a lot of fun, very relaxing. I do not recommend this for young under 10 you definitely want this to be something that you know you do with older children if you are planning to do this with family members or you know for me this is like you know right up my alley and <laughs> i'm way over teenage years but i definitely think teens can handle this pre-teens can also handle this with some uh, instructions but living felt the web, uh, the the com the company Living Felt, they have the channel, and I mean their tutorials are amazing, very detailed, um, just great. Uh, I, I just absolutely love them, and the ladies there, they're all wonderful. I've I enjoyed watching all the videos. I like seeing it all the way to the end, and I'm definitely gonna be watching them every Wednesday when they do their live videos. So I can get more ideas and tips and tricks on how to do these things. Now, if you've never seen needle felting before, there's, I mean, amazing, amazing little creatures and things and figurines that people have made. And so beautiful and so realistic. And um, it is, you know, it's sculpture. It's, it's art. It's sculpture. And I think it's an absolutely amazing um format and kind of new new to me and i know needle felting has been around for quite a while i just have never tried it and after i saw that kit on amazon with the prime lightning deal and i got it you know just because it was it was so affordable i figured it was something new to me and i love learning new things in general and i love trying new crafts and new um techniques and you know i like to make things so this is why i decided to do this particular kit now so far as you've seen i've come i've made my shape which is the bunny's head and the bunny's body and one of the tips they recommend when you're doing this is you know to make sure that you do it nice and tight you want it to be a certain firmness you don't want any air pockets in there and i, I think i did that pretty well i am not a hundred percent you know i would love to have someone who's needle felted before to actually come feel my bunny and tell me if it's you know firm enough um i think i did it the way you're supposed to do it but perhaps it could be a little bit tighter but it de definitely you know from starting off with a ball of fluffy wool you're making this little standable figure poseable even figurine so i spent a lot of my time you know i took time as the ladies in living felt say take your time take your time so i definitely took my time in trying to get this as firm as possible and to get the shape right now um again the needles there are three different sizes of needles in this particular kit that I got and Living Felt also sells their own needles but I didn't get any of their extra stuff I just got the storybook bunny which would require you to have all the other supplies such as needle and the foam and stuff like that on your own but um it, it was just I don't know it's just it's it was, it's, it's a lot of fun for me to do this thing. So I, you know, like I said, this is something totally, totally new to me. I didn't know what it was going to end up getting, how it, how it was going to turn out to be, but it worked out. It, I'm happy to say it worked out. I just wish I knew a lot more about the needles and the needle sizes and what each one really does like i believe that the coarser needles are best to start with to get you know your wool nice and compact and then the smaller needles are more for like the fine detail as you go along um this bunch of needles that are together and this is a great tool because uh, to me it helps me cover a lot more you know space and coverage at the same time as i'm felting so i did like that but um I don't know the size of the needles that I'm using here, so perhaps I'm using the wrong size. It could have went a lot faster. But this particular bunny took me about 
two and a half hours, I want to say, to create. Um, I didn't get to finish it, and you'll see later on what happened. I had, I didn't have a doll needle to sew the actual bunny together, so I had to wait two days until I uh, received my Amazon order. I shop a lot on Amazon, but I don't shop for just one thing at a time you know like I'm not gonna have Amazon just send me one little item in a box today and then order something tomorrow and then have another box what I tend to do is put a bunch of things in my cart and then you know when I reach a certain amount that I'm comfortable spending I will then go ahead and place my order so I get several different things at a time because these needles uh, the needles the doll needles that I order are like only five bucks for two um, they come two in a pack and they're only five bucks and for me to have Amazon mail me like just two needles for overnight or one day or two day shipping I didn't bother with that I waited until I had to order other things you know like my Keurig uh, filters and stuff like that and then I added my needles on there and ordered it so it, it took a couple days to get done just because I was waiting for the needle but the actual felting of the bunny that really only took me about two and a half hours and um, perhaps it could be a lot faster if you're experienced and you know what you're doing but being that I had to stop the tutorial several times rewind watch again exactly what they were doing um, that to me took a lot a lot of time and again being it was my first time I wanted to make sure that I did it the right way and I didn't hurry through the process I wasn't trying to do this super quickly I just wanted to make sure that I you know get the technique down as I'm doing this now you guys are gonna laugh at my bunny in the end I think it ended up looking like a cross between a dog and a bunny instead of just being a bunny I think my fault here is gonna be with the head the shape of the head I didn't make the nose pointy enough and I also think I made the ears too big so those are the two things that I think if I had fixed my bunny would be totally different and turn out a lot better but you know like I said first one this is what happens when you're doing something for the first time it's not gonna be exactly like the kit just not gonna you know I'm learning here in this so I hope you guys uh, excuse my dog slash bunny that I'm gonna make um, I think it still turned out cute and I love the idea of doing that I definitely would try would love to try making another bunny again oh and I have to say the needle felt the, the living felt kit for the storybook bunny after I was done I still had lots of extras left over so I'm able to you know maybe make something as much smaller bunny or try another uh, needle craft um, needle felting um, item with whatever was left over they, they definitely provide you with more than enough things that you need and I think it's a really great value if you've never tried it definitely try the needle felt um, living felt storybook bunny um, kit now I just want to put this out there I am NOT affiliated or endorsed or paid no, no one's giving me money for this or anything like that I just happen to like living felt kits I think they're more affordable than what the, the kits that you see in Michaels they give you such tiny amounts in the stuff like you see in Michaels and Joann's the felt kits there um, Yes, it'd be great if you use a coupon, but I think Living Felt does a really great job of putting together their kits. And I think the wool and stuff, they, they source it themselves. And I, I just think it's a really great uh, product. So again, I'm not being endorsed or affiliated with them in any way. I just think it was great and that's why I am going to recommend them. If you are going to try needle felting for the first time, definitely definitely check out living felt's uh, website before you you know go do anything now here are the ears and you cut them out of felt first and then you know you felt the actual wool onto it and this is where I think I went wrong perhaps my ears shouldn't have been so long um, <laughs> yeah I probably should have cut my ears down shorter or if I really wanted a bunny look instead of the floppy ears down maybe I should have did ears standing up I'm not sure um, but this is where I think my my bunny ends up looking a little bit more of like a hound dog than a bunny because of the length of my ears I definitely think 
think I made the ears a little bit too big. So, you know, if you're doing this and you're going to try this kit for the first time, again, look at the tutorial on Living Felt's web um, on their YouTube channel. And I'll actually, you know what, I'm going to link that particular tutorial as well as Living Felt's website. I'm also going to link for you guys the kit that I got from Amazon, which is very affordable. Um, I am affiliate. Well, I'm not really affiliate. Well, yeah, I guess I signed up for the uh, Amazon uh, Associates program thing. So basically, when I recommend something to you guys from Amazon, I just want you to know it's not something that is sponsored or given to me. It's something that I use, like, approve, and would buy again. So that's what I'm going to be linking for you below. Now, um, if you do use my link to shop on Amazon, I do get like a, I don't know, I don't even know how much, but you get a small, I get a small little commission from that. It's no cost to you. Um, it's not doing anything different. You're still going to sign in and use your Amazon the regular way. That link just helps um, Amazon know that, hey, I recommended you this product so that I can get a little tiny little commission, which will help me buy more things from Amazon to show you and keep my channel going. So um, I hope you don't mind about that. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to, you know, ask. But there are so many great tutorials on YouTube of felt Thing, and I am like addicted now. I think I want to stab things over and over every single day, thousands and thousands of times. It's very, very therapeutic just to like punch things with a needle over and over and over and over. Um, if you're watching me here, my hands are just going non-stop doing this thing and I really enjoyed it. I don't know what it is about stabbing things so many times, but it's fun. So if you haven't tried it, definitely try it out. Now I'm going to be putting together my bunny and like I said, what happened was I had to wait for the needle to come in the mail. After I did all of the felting in about two and a half hours, I ordered, um, I waited to order my needle and then got, got that in the mail and then I was able to sew it all together. So my bunny is actually finished today. Um, I Put it all together and he looks super cute i would love to felt some more easter related things coming up but we'll see how i go with that again being this is my absolute absolute first one i loved it i i'm, I'm addicted i i love creating these little figurines i actually like sculpt doing sculpting a lot but clay can be expensive and i used to do like the air dry clay little make little figurines and stuff like that way back in the days so this is definitely something that i i like to do i used to make like little tiny gnomes and my own little um figurines um like I said, I used to do them way back in the days with air dry clay and the clay that you bake and stuff like that. So this is very similar except that you're stabbing things instead of using a, a molding tool to mold your um, material into the ar on the armature to create a little figurine. Here you're stabbing the felt or the wool I should say to felt it to make the firm shape and the more you punch it with the needle the firmer it becomes so you kind of have to figure out how and I guess this comes by practice and with you know the more you do it the better you have an idea of how things feel and how things should be so as I progressed throughout this particular kit I was able to figure that out on my own that the more I stab something the firmer it was gonna get and you know just the shape and things like that it's it's definitely something you have to do to understand <laughs> like um, I don't know how else to explain that to you to get the, the the feel of exactly how tight something should be felted you kind of have to do it on your own and feel it as you go along and with the body I think I could have felted it a little bit more and I certainly think I should have shaped the nose of the head a little bit better to make it look more like a bunny and not a dog but um 
you know that that's pretty much all i can say about that so guys i really do hope that you like this video i had a blast making my first needle felted project i will be leaving all those links for you please leave a comment for me let me know what do you think of my very first felted project needle felting project do you think it looks like a bunny or my dog i don't know but you leave me a comment let me know what do you think of my little bunny i love him regardless of how he looks just because he's my first my little baby so i'm gonna treasure him for a long time i love i want to thank uh living felt for their great tutorials and their kits and i will be linking like i said everything that you need if you wanted to try this and if you have any questions feel free to leave them for me and thank you all so very much for watching please don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button and i will be seeing you in another video soon have a wonderful wonderful day and the rest of your week bye everyone